Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I don't really know when you're watching this, but anyway, I have a few students that are having difficulty solving rational equations by graphing. And so what I wanted to do is do a few examples and also show why it works. I don't want it just to be do this, do this, and do that, and boom, you'll get the right answer. This first video is somewhat of an informal proof on why it works. So I have a very, very simple equation up there, 3x minus 2 equals 4, and I've run through the basic way of solving it. We all know that we would add 2 to both sides first, canceling out the negative 2 on the left, leaving us with 3x equals 6. And then we would divide both sides by 6 and get it so that x equals 2. It's a very, very easy way to solve a linear equation. So, but let's just consider what if we tried to solve this by graphing. A lot of people have graphing calculators and it would make it in some respects easier, especially if you didn't know these steps or have them all down. Now you still have to have a basis of graphing though. So I'm going to step over here to the exact same equation and I have solving equations by graphing up there. So there's my 3x minus 2 equals 4. And notice how I've stated y1 equals the 3x minus 2, and the y2 is equal to 4. I then went on ahead and I graphed them by hand. So the y2, the y equals 4. When it's y equals a number, it's always a horizontal line going through that point on the y-axis. So it's going through at 4. And then for the 3x minus 2, I would start on minus 2, and my slope is 3, so I would go up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1. And if you take a look at that, it goes through the point 2, 4. Now, I'm going to flip back over to our other answer, and notice x equals 2. So x equals 2 there. We're very, very happy. And if you take a look at our point, keep in mind that points are always in x comma y format. So if it's in x comma y format, what's in the x position? 2. Now, I get it. Why would you do all of this work to solve for x equals 2? The graphing is more difficult, finding the point of intersection. While it's not hard, it's certainly a lot more time consuming. When we could simply do this, add two to both sides, divide both sides by three, and boom, you get the two for the answer. The reason we would do this is that when you get to some rational equations that are a lot more difficult, we can use the power of the calculator. So what I want to do is I want to go on ahead and just put this into the calculator so you can see what that looks like. And again, I realize that that is a lot more work to do. So now I'm looking down at my TI-84, and I am gonna go on ahead in Y1, and I'm gonna put 3X minus two, and then I'm gonna go down for the Y2, I'm gonna put in four, and I'm gonna hit graph. Now one of the things I do like to do, just so we can see it, is I do like to hit the zoom and the 6. It's just giving us a, a normal one, and I think it was already on that window right there. And if you look and notice, you can see that they intersect right there. However, it doesn't show a 2-4. So luckily, if you look at the blue up above the trace button, it says calc. We have a way to make it show us where it's intersecting. All right, I'm gonna hit the second button because the word calc is in blue. I'm gonna hit the blue button, and then I'm gonna hit that. It gives us a number of choices. Number five on here is intersect. That's for an intersection. Now you can scroll down to the number five and hit the enter, or you can just hit the five button itself. Now notice the first question on there says first curve. I know these are straight lines, but the calculator will always say curve. So since it's on y1, which is the 3x minus 2, we're going to hit enter. 
and then it comes up to the y2, which equals you know, 4 there, and we're going to put enter there as well. And now it's asking for a guess. For the guess, you have to use the right and left to toggle. The up and down won't help you. Put it fairly close on where you believe it intersects. And notice that guess says 2.12 there. When I hit enter, it tells me the intersection 2, 4. X equals 2. Now, when you look at the next video, we're going to have a much more complicated problem. We're doing all of the algebra is much more difficult than just using the graphing calculator. So be prepared for video two, and I hope you watch it. Thanks. Bye.